Robert Harrell, a Piedmont man, left his home at the age of 62 and through hitchhiking and walking, made it to the Kerr Beach area of Wilmington, North Carolina, where he lived the life of a hermit for the last years of his life. Living off the land and sea, he took up residence inside an old, abandoned World War II bunker. There, tourists would pay him a small fee to pose with them for a picture. The locals would often share a beer or so with him as they sat around Mr. Harrell's fire, and perhaps this was what brought about his murder on June 3, 1972. He was in the bunker in his sleeping bag when three to four men in their early 20s drug him outside trapped him inside the sleeping bag while they beat and kicked him then threw him back in the bunker where he succumbed to the beatings and died and now i neil k from nocturnal nation i'm about to interview mr robert harrell I'm here, I'm at um, what's dubbed the old hermit shack, the old World War II bunker. Um, this is where a hermit, um, Kirk Beach's very own hermit, by the name of um, Robert Harrell, in order to spirit balls going off guys, letting me know that he is here. Thank you so much, Mr. Robert. Thank you for allowing me to know that you're here. Thank you for being willing to communicate with me. I did come in here earlier, guys, and I spoke with him during the daytime to make sure that he was going to be okay with me coming out here at nighttime to talk to him. And he said he was. So I am ready to conduct this interview. There's going to be several ways, Mr. Harrell, that you'll be able to speak to me. One is with the aid of my dowsing rod, okay? Another is with a spirit ball, which you just made go off a moment ago. And right behind that spirit ball, I have my rim pod. You can touch it and make it go off for me. I also have with me a K2 meter. Oopsie. You guys see this? Blah, 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 blah. I can go off like that. But when a spirit makes it go off, that's something. So I'm going to place it on the ground right here beside of me. Flashlights on the side of it. My spirit box foam. I call my spirit box phone because this is an old cell phone. No longer has any um, any time on or anything, any minutes, any data, anything of the sort. I use it primarily for a spirit box. Right now, I'm going to use the SB11. Let's see what we can find out here. Hello, can you speak to me? Hello? Have you guys heard that? Say whatever you wish. Fisher and I spoke to the ones there 
who take care of the area and are, are very rich historians, they told me that um, indeed you did not die of natural causes, but someone drug you in, they, they came in where you're at, where you're asleep, they drug you out in your sleeping bag, beat the living crap out of you to the point of death, and then drug you back in here and left you. Sir, is it true that you were murdered? Thank you, sir, for, for telling me this. Have you sought for your revenge upon those who killed you? Were you indeed able to exact your revenge? Did you track these men down? I use the word men loosely. Did you track these people down and haunt them? Okay. Did you cause physical harm to them yourself? It's okay, sir. No? Okay, that's good. I really wish you could um, use some of your energy and, and um, light up one of these devices for me. I'll make it easy for you, sir. I'll make it easy for you. You can take my hand. Take a hold of my hand right now, Mr. Robert. Take a hold of my hand and use my energy to light up one of these devices. I'm giving you this opportunity. You can't use all of my energy now, but you can use some of it. You did tell me that it was okay if I come here and conduct this interview, right? Okay. If I turn on the spirit box, will you speak to me through it? Okay, sir. Mr. Robert. Can you speak to me, please, through this? Yep, Harold. Your name is Robert Harold, Mr. Harold. Okay, that's how I'll address you. Hello? He found this bunker and decided he was going to live here as a hermit, off the grid, away from everybody else. And the way he survived is he would catch fish and live off the land. He had a garden. I mean, he lived off the land. He posed for pictures for a price, and he would take that money, obviously, and buy his supplies, whatever he needed. So that's the information that I've gotten. 
not only from the internet, but from talking to historians, from talking to locals, found this out today. And I thought this was very interesting, a very interesting fact about Mr. Harold. So sir, we have had a very short interview. I would really like to have a more in-depth conversation with you. Can you talk to me and tell me more about yourself? Okay, um, for example, sir, I know you were a hermit, but were you always that way? Or did you at one time have a functioning job and, and were a functioning member of society, as they call it? Okay, Mr. Harrell, please talk to me. Sir, or Again, I heard die. Yes. Yes. Yes, I'm here. Are you trying to tell me that you want to leave? Mr. Harrell, was that you that said leave? Okay, I'm going to make this easy. Mr. Harrell, are you the only spirit in this bunker? as much evidence as possible. I'm going to leave the portal app running. No, 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 no. I changed my mind. I'm going to start the perilous. I can't see the perilous logo. And I'm going to let Same. it run. And it can spit out whatever words 
it deems necessary while I take and we'll put this right here so you guys can see this if it goes off I'm going to put the camera down toward it so you can see it and there it just went off just went off again Okay, so what I'm going to do, just to make sure that it's not this phone that's causing it to go off, I'm going to take it and I'm going to move it right here. Wow. Now, if the K2 goes off this time, like it just did, we know it's spirit activated, it has nothing. See that, guys? You see that? You see this, right? Great evidence. Thank you. Can you continue to do that for me, please?
And there. Talk to me through the through the old um, dowsing rod right here. Okay, Mr. Robert Harrell, are you still in here? Okay, sir, do you ever venture outside of this bunker now? Yeah, you got a lot of energy in here from your death, don't you? Mr. Robert, is there anything, any kind of message or anything you would like to say while I'm here? He's thinking. He, he, he's not responding at all on that. I wonder what would happen if I turn the lights out. And it's really nothing but he and I. The only light that I'm going to have is from the screen of that phone. dark and 
Uh, you probably can't see me, but you can see this meter here. I want to sit here for a minute and just be completely quiet just to see what happens. Mr. Harold, I leave you this offering. I know that it's not much, but it's the meaning that I leave with you. And this being, sir, that I have nothing but respect for you. And I'll leave that there for you, sir. And I know you used to charge people to take a picture with you. And I have asked a lot more of you than a picture. So I feel it is only fitting that I pay you for allowing me this opportunity spend some time with you, sir, and to talk with you. I have the change that I just left you, and I have this dollar bill, and I want to give you this dollar bill, but I want to put it in a place that no one will take it from you. So I'm trying to find a good place. If I had to, I could put it where I put that change at. Let me, um, just look around a little bit. Because I am going to leave you this for sure. Because you have been nothing but gracious to me. And I so, so, so appreciate you taking time, your precious time, sir, to speak to me. To me, that has no price tag. But just like I told you before, I was not going to take that box from you because that was a gift to you. I don't want no one to take this from you. Okay, but this is also a gift.